Hey there guys, I'm Martin Customs Limited and I love making popular culture products for movies, games, comics, you name it. And today we're going to be making a custom Joker 3D limited edition PS5. Now normally when I make a video I like to talk a little bit about the franchise or the character and then a little bit about the concept. But as it's Joker, I have so much to say about this character and also a little bit more about how I connect with characters as an artist, how it's, it's different to how most people connect with a character. Because for me personally, I connect with a character more so on an artistic standpoint. For example, Venom is one of my favorite characters. Don't really know a lot about him. You know, he's not been in many games and he's, you know, only had a couple of films. Um, Colossus, the massive metal guy. I know nothing about that guy, but he's always been one of my favorite characters because of the art design and the color schemes. And the Joker has by far the best color scheme ever. Uh, you know, he's got green, purple, red, pink, and yellow. And because there's been so many iterations of the character over the years through the cinematic universe, games and comics, you can pretty much use those colors in any way. And they vibe so well with each other. You more or less cannot go wrong with those colors together in a color scheme project. But of course, not only just the color scheme of the Joker, the actual character himself, every iteration of the Joker that I've seen, I have personally really liked even the Jared Leto. Which leads me to my next reason why I think that the Joker is probably my number one character of all time, but definitely my number one villain. And that is the creative license and the creative expertise that has been put into this character over the years through the different iterations of, you know, the games and the films. Jack Nicholson played the first real iteration of the Joker in the first real feature length film of Batman. Um, but the original Joker, I feel, is Mark Hamill, who plays the animated films of the Joker and also in the games. He's like the Joker if you were to pull him out of a comic. And Jack Nicholson plays that character very, very closely to that. Then, of course, you had Heath Ledger and Christopher Nolan's version of the Joker, which, you know, took him to a really dark and grounded, more realistic level. But still the Joker being able to pull off these amazing chaotic stunts then of course you have jared leto somewhere in the middle where it's like you know someone's done the joke joker someone's done the slightly less jokey joker but still kind of weird joker uh what do i do so he just went weird creepy joker and i think he pulled it off you know a uh, hot take i liked it i wouldn't want to meet that guy i don't want any part of him it creeps me out then last but certainly not least is Joaquin Phoenix in The Joker, which is a film that's not really about the Joker. It's more sort of a re-envision of Taxi Driver. That's really what they were going for. But um, it does cover one of the origin stories of the Joker, which is uh, in the, the Killing Joke, which is known as, you know, one of the best comics. But going back to the character, I really don't know anything much about him that you guys probably don't. I've seen the films, I've played the games, I've never read any of the comics. It's more so that the character jumped out as me as an artist as being this bright, vibrant character. And it just so happens that that character has been played and portrayed in ways that I also think is just really, really cool. And that I think is a blessing as an artist because it allows me to really become a fanboy of a character or a franchise without knowing all of the source material and really getting into the weeds. So, yeah, I love Attack on Titan. Definitely going to do a piece on that. I've never seen it. So I should probably talk about what I'm actually doing. Uh, yeah, so concept for this was uh, getting all the Jokers onto one piece. So Jack Nicholson is represented by the goo, the 3D goo that's dripping down because he obviously is the origin story of him falling into a bath of weird acid. The side that you're seeing now with all the splatter in the cartoon Joker on it, that is the original cartoon comic Joker. The Joker title that's on there represents the Joaquin Phoenix. The ha 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 is the Heath Ledgers. And the purple pearlescent and green pearlescent fade is Jared Leto. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, let's have a look at how this thing turned out even though you don't know how it was made.
Okay, there you have it, my uh, three versions of Joker Limited Edition Custom PS5. We've got the UV Edition, the Green Goo Edition, and then obviously the edition there, the original Jack Nicholson Edition. If you're interested in buying one of these, then head over to my Etsy store, it's just Martin Customs Limited, or email me at martin at martincustomslimited.com. Um, just be aware guys that these are going to change the drip is always going to change i like to make things new so that not too many people have the same thing that's what makes them limited so they will change in the future if you want a chance of winning one of these then answer this riddle this riddle explains the next franchise or character that i'm working on on the 31st of october a tradition is played out I never give out any candy, I always play a trick, because I'm a cheeky chappy, like the Joker. I'm so cheeky, in fact, I do it five months early. What creative name might you give such a dastardly deed? So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you might call that, and if you're right, you'll be entered into a raffle. Next year, you'll get to pick anything from my store if you win. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the piece, guys. Which version is your favourite? Do you like the toxic glowing green goo, the UV version, the Jack Nicholson version? Would you like to see more iterations of this in the future? I do have other pieces in mind. But yeah, other than that, guys, if you've made it this far into the video, uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, YouTube stuff, let's see, what does it say here? So make sure there is a call to action, like subscribe. A call to action? Call to action for the Joker? That would be an insight to Riot. Who in their right mind would do that?